Hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now you guys might be saying that my Rubik's Cube is not so good at all. Alright, we're going to be starting with the right, the white cross, this. We're going to look for a white edge piece. It's got white and green. You got to line that with its center color, green. So green. White, flip this twice, so it makes that. Let me fix my camera angle for you guys. All right, time for this side. We gotta look, there's none of them there, but we see one right here. You wanna bring, because this can't go up here. So we're going to bring this down, we're going to move this bottom over here, so that way it aligns with its orange. And then bring it up twice, so that way it does that. Now, for, time for this one. Okay, now we got the entire cross. Yeah, that way that I'm showing you doesn't work but we, now we got the entire craft so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put in the corners you want to look for a corner like this or a corner like this or a corner like this if there's a corner like this and you see it's green and red and you see that green and red is right here you want to have the green so you know how if you move it over here, the green's going to line up right here, right? So if you move it, the green's going to line up right here. So you want to move it away from the green. I'm going to bring this down and put it back with the green so that way it puts it in. So now let me do the rest. And if there is a, a corner that's on the top white but it does not match with the two colors on the sides, what well, you got to do this algorithm. And it takes out the corner piece, and then you can safely place it in. Or, say, hold up. I'm trying to get this. Right, see there's a piece on the bottom, and it has to go right here. You want to put this piece under the under the place that you gotta put it in. You're gonna bring this down, and you gotta move this twice, and bring this back up, and then you can just place it in. I'm sorry if this angle is not good for you guys. I didn't bring my gorilla, my um, yeah, my gorilla tripod. Okay, time for these center edges. That's gonna go for the center. What you wanna do is find a piece like this. So it's red, and blue. You want to bring it to it where it's aligning with this color and if the top is red you want to move it away from its red center over here. So you, you do this algorithm. Alright. That puts that in right here. Okay. Time for this one. You want to look for it. And if it's not well, I, I did see it, but so now we're gonna put this in here. Do the same algorithm. All right, now here you need to put this piece in here, but this is right here, and you're supposed to have it there. What you can do is you grab a random piece and you just do this algorithm again. And it's going to take it out from there so that way you can place it to where you do need it. And then you can place the pieces in. Alright, so now your center is done. Time for the top. You have a lot of cases. you got four cases that can happen. Number one is this one. If you have this case, you don't need to worry about what 
position this is in, you can do this algorithm. And what that's going to give you is this. You want to have that facing the top left. So it goes like that. You want to do the same algorithm. And then you're going to get a rod like this. You want to keep that horizontal. I think that's what it is. You want to keep it landscape. So you want to keep it landscape. And you want to do the exact same algorithm. Or you can either get the cross. And you're good for that. Now you want to see for the cross. You, you see that it has this, these colors. You want to align them up with these centers. None of them right there. Here, we got two of them. One, two. What we're gonna do for that is you wanna put the ones that are that are good up here and the ones that aren't right here. And we're gonna do this simple algorithm. And what it's gonna do is gonna line all of them. Okay, now if you got one of them that are correctly placed in, or if you don't, it's fine. You just gotta do this algorithm. Alright? And what I got was this. If you guys got this, and it does this, and it does this, what you wanna do, you wanna go to like that, and you wanna do this algorithm. The same one that we did. But now you want to do it on this side. This is what it looks like. Alright. Now it's going to probably give this to you again. You want to do that algorithm one more. You want to do the same algorithm a couple more times until it gives you this. So it's like that. And then the bottom is done. And it's like that. And these pieces are here. They're good. He says that they're not oriented correctly. You want to do the exact same algorithm that you did before a couple of times. And you'll know if it's either one or two times. And then if it's once, I'll show you. And if it's two, I'll show you. And then it will solve the cube. This is how you know you got to do it one more time. If there's no piece that's right here, I mean you got to do it one more time. So one more time. And then if you don't need to do it one more time, it's going to look like this. And ladies and gents, that's how you solve the Rubik's Cube. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Today's post notification shoutouts go to my friend Tech250 and Derpster90 and also Grumpy Doe and Happy Doe. Grumpy Doe Gaming is a good channel. He always live streams. And in fact, he did live stream today. So make sure to go check that out. Um, what else? I will be doing a giveaway soon. If I gain enough subscribers, I will do another giveaway for you guys. I know you guys like those giveaways. And I like doing them for you guys. So yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned and I'll be and I'll start to be posting up weekly videos. And if you guys have any ideas for a video, please tell me. I would love to see your requests. And yeah, all right. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is the Mega Flower. Alrighty. Bye guys. Inferno Matter, out.